Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of the Geek Tech Show. And in today's episode we're going to be reviewing something that just came in in the mail. It's called the Mero Camelon 7 Stretch Hiking Boot. So this is version 7.0 of something that has 7 different versions to it. It is the hiking boot. So what is so special about those? Well, this is 7 variation of the same exact thing. Something otherwise known as back to the future kind of shoes. Why? Because I think that in the 1980s people actually used to wear those things, but really practically speaking. If you ever seen the movie Back to the Future, they used to wear funky new age kind of shoes and those are it. Why are those new age? For two specific reasons. One is going to have special shoelace. Well, you don't tie it with laces anymore. Now there's a rubber band that all you have to do is to pull on it and that's it. It is really this simple and anybody can tie it, even a fifth grader. And this is definitely for people who don't know how to tie those shoes. Next thing that we have here is this easy to put in shoe place. Instead of like, you know, stretching it out, putting your foot in and adjusting, all you have to do is to grab this handle right here and put your foot right in there. Another thing that those shoes actually have is an actual track right in the back of it. It is the same as actual, uh, long and behold, actual tire track right on this. How smart is that? Now, the grip itself is awesome and it has vents, L vents for your feet right into built into the shoe itself. The best thing about this is the vibram actual vibram insole that makes it very comfortable for you when you step on it. Of course, out of this experience and out of this world experience with every kind of vibram shoe you actually get. And with Mel and vibram teaming up, you are getting the best kind of possible shoe that you can potentially get for the price and for the quality. Now, if you can get those for less than a hundred bucks, you got yourself a very good deal. Around 120 or so, I'm not really sure that this is the right shoe for you. A few other things about this, it does have this Cameron-like um, reptile kind of a design. In fact, it was inspired by an actual reptile. Those shoes are very comfortable, they feel good, <laughs> and they are made as solid as a brick. The reason why it is quite simple. Those are created for being a hiking shoe. So this is very hard for you to bend over. You can try and it has a little flexibility in the front but no flexibility at all in the back. The sniff, the sniff test doesn't smell toxic. Now some shoes do smell toxic, those are not it. They're a bit on the heavy side versus other males which are super lightweight but those will make really good shoes and they come in different kind of styles and colors. This is the seventh variation of the shoe because people really like to get those. And in today's video review we are going to be unboxing the Mellow Camelon Stretch hiking shoe. To that, here it is. Oh, look what we got here today. So, I just got those freshly minted right from the factory itself, the metal. And I'm going to be reviewing it a little bit different than my usual format. So, because I want to examine it and show you it, how it actually looks like, as close and personal as you can get to those shoes because everybody is not doing it like this. So first thing first is the actual texture of the shoe itself and it does feel really nice. I do like the tactical feel of it. The looks are pretty interesting. It looks like something somebody would wear in the year 2020. Oh, it's only 2018. We are one year off from actually creating something. And if you really want to think about it this way, back to the future. If you watch the movie, this will be actually the perfect shoe for them to feature in the 1980s. So this is as if Back to the Future actually existed and we are in the future and we are going to be wearing 
those specific kind of shoes. So here is a few things about this shoe that makes it a futuristic shoe heel. One, it doesn't have any more of the old-fashioned tie them up laces. I got this right here, a rubber band. And all you need to do is to pull it on like this. And that's all you have to really do. So this is like the futuristic way to race your feet, practically speaking. You can do it the same exact way. So for people who are lazy, don't know how to tie up your shoes, this is definitely a space saver right there. Also, one size fits most. And if you're getting the right size, it should be working for you. Your foot either is going to get in here or it's not. It's really in between those two. So either your foot is going to fit perfectly inside the shoe or it's not. And if it's not, you have to go either one size down or one size up. Specifically, one size up if it doesn't fit. If it is too loose, you switch to one size down or vice versa. I think I got the order all confused here. Anyway, a few other things about this. I got vents, L vents, that's right. It's like exhaust vents in a vehicle, right in the actual shoe itself. How cool is that? Now, talking about cool here, look what we have right inside of this thing. You have a miniature fan built right in here for your feet or for your face in case you're in Africa and like sweating or in a safari, uh, maybe in Florida. So this, this will work. And it goes right back in here. Interestingly enough, another thing about this is it arches in a specific way. It's not even straight. Which actually means that the texture of the shoe itself also arches as well. So understand that too. When I put my foot inside this thing, it felt really weird and not necessarily in a good way. So it might take you a little bit of adjustment to get fitted right into those shoes. The bottom end of this features an actual track. And I'm talking about a track such as in a vehicle, like a race track, or otherwise known as a race style in, in a car. That's right, this is an actual track as if they took it from a vehicle and they put it, imprinted it right on the back of this actual shoe. So this could be good or actually the worst thing that ever was invented. Another thing about this is flexibility. This one doesn't have much. A lot of metal shoes, you can actually flex them. This one you have to use your force like really hard to flex this shoe. It's like a piece of rock molded right inside. And I'm not sure what they were thinking about, but this is not my most desirable metal that I ever got. I would say like this. To put it in blunt terms right now. Now, in case you're playing soccer, this could be perfect for you right here. You can play ball with it. And if you can't fit your foot right inside, they have those things right here that you can just pull it in here. So pretty much, this is back to the future, futuristic like shoes that your girlfriend is gonna super love or super hate. And I suggest for you that if you're looking for a change of style, wanna get interesting looking models, well, knock yourself out and get those shoes. But if you are not really sure about them, well, Amazon does offer 30 day money back in case you haven't actually used them. And plus it has Prime Rocco, well, you can get a few different shoes and you can try them on and see which one works best for you. Of course, it has the best possible price as well for them. So if you do like those specific shoes and you think of purchasing them, you know what to head over. There's going to be a link right down below giving you access to those Cameron shoes. And Cameron stands for an actual reptile, in case you didn't know it. So the way this thing actually been designed, it actually been made to look as if this is a Cameron thing. It changes, changes with the way it looks. 
so there we go we have those weird looking funky shoes from back to the future and you can see right here how they actually look like a few things about those shoes is that they are very interesting when you're stepping on them you feel the ground but not necessarily in a good way there's a lot of texture and traction that is available and built in right into the shoes themselves and you feel right at home when you put them on they're easily to put on and to put off all you have to do is to take your feet out of there and you can put them right back in simple and easy like this doesn't take much effort and then if you want to adjust it you can use those futuristic laces to go ahead and make sure that they fit right in and then if you don't like those laces or you want to put them inside you can tack them in just like that if you want to make sure that it is laced more you can pull on it and that's all you need to do just pull on the rubber bands and that's it those shoes are futuristic looking they have those air vents on the sides and they are actually great for jumping and doing regular exercise with them as well you can jump with them pretty easily you can walk on them and the bottoms look high tech as an actual race car vehicle looks like so those are tracks and look exactly like tire tracks less than shoes if you want to see the bottom and the back here we go showing you them from the bottom and from the side as well they don't bend and don't flex as easy as some of the other metal shoes they are more built for semi-comfort and a lot more built for actual traction in the field and for hiking they are semi waterproof as well and it doesn't really have any location for the water to leak right in they are well built they work great and consider those to be your next shoes coming directly from Mel. now if you did enjoy the show and of course want to subscribe to it you don't know what the next video will bring please make sure to hit the subscribe button right now i want to see you on the inside and hopefully you decide to get those shoes because in the link right down below you can get those at the best possible price directly from amazon and they do offer 30 day money back on most products that you buy from them especially when it comes to shoes don't like them for any reason return them back as long as you didn't actually wear them outside that being said hopefully you did enjoy this review if you find it helpful smash the thumbs up button and see you in the next video